Okay, so for our first example, we're going to take our uh, our calculator and we're going to uh, add another, add, add replace a, we're going to put in another function, okay, that will do the output for us. So uh, here's our here's our code, existing code. Uh, in this case, we ask the user for their two numbers. We ask them what operation they want to do, plus or minus. I've kept the simple version, the plus or minus version, and then we print out uh, this. Uh, answer the answer which here and this is a I mean it's a slightly complicated thing having the f string and so on uh, so if you remember the f string means that this combination variable whatever's stored in there gets gets printed into the answer printed into that string uh, to say answer and whatever the combination is not as simple as could, it could be um, and we're going to we're actually going to make this much much shorter in the next uh, few examples. Okay, so first of all, we're going to have a, a function that does the output. So we will give it some text, we'll give it uh, a number, and we'll get it to print that out. Okay, uh, we can. So we're hiding. Basically, we're hiding away the f string stuff by declaring this new function. Uh, and the way to do that is use this keyword called def, just stands for define. Oh, it also means declare. We're, we're declaring this function or defining it. We use def in this case. Python uses def to say define this function. The function is called output, like we've had functions called draw square or um, print. Uh, functions called output, and this text and combination of things that we give to the function to do its job. Uh, so in, in general, to declare a function, you need the keyword def, you need the name of the function uh, here, output, followed by its parameters in round brackets. I'll talk more about what parameters are shortly. So those are the, that's the information that we give it. Um, and then you have a colon at the end, just to say this is, this is you know, like we do for if and if and else, we have a colon at the end, and, and so this is the this stuff that's indented after the colon is, is the, the contents of the function, the body of the function indented. Okay, so um, as I said, our, our new output function looks like this, and we give it two variables to deal with text and combination. Uh, and it uses f -string, f string formatting to print them out with a space in between. So it's, it's, not, it's not doing very much, right? It's just a simple uh, example. But then if we go to the, um, the code, back to our original example, we can just use uh, output answer combination. <coughs> but it doesn't have to be answer. It can be whatever we want to pass in as, a, as the string. So I said the answer is in combination. The, the output function doesn't really care what text it's given. It just gets on with the job in hand, which is to print out those, um, <coughs> those two things formatted with a space in between them. So the, the new code as a whole now looks like this. Um, notice we've got the output function declared or defined at the top of the code. This bit hasn't changed, the, num the input of the first and second numbers. This bit hasn't changed, this bit hasn't changed, the calculation, so the, uh, the, uh, the, you know, the, doing the combination of adding or subtracting. So the difference is down the bottom here, we can then use output to say answer and then whatever the combination is, or we can say something else. We can put in, you know, we can use this output function over and over again, as many times as we like to put in uh, a different bit of text. Okay, so that's our first basic use of a function. It, it, it replaces the um, print statement with this extra bit of code that, uh, you know, sort of hides away the details of the F string. 